Hi, welcome to the first inaugural, inaug inaugural, 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 in inaugural, inaugural episode of Your Takes. We're starting off by mispronouncing every word. <laughs> Turd. Snurd. Turd. Word. Word. Snurd. <laughs> All right, welcome to this inaugural episode of Your Takes. This is where we go through all the comments that we've seen you make at hashtag spit takes on Twitter and also on some of the comments of our recent YouTube posts um, up on uh, uh, the various spit takes episodes that we do so you can get your opinions in. Um, we're going to switch over to the main screen over here right now and kind of go through all of the... Boy, back since November. This is the first time we're doing this. Um, so we'll just go through all stuff. Spittle, great segment this week. Really enjoyed it. Thanks for the mention in my forum post. Rock it out. Spit takes arrow rocks. Another hashtag going on there. Thank you, Veritas. Um, basically, we're talking about, too, if you want to weigh in on this stuff, just do hashtag spit takes, and you can as well. Veritas, again, do you think the writing and acting deliver Alfred as both regal and lethal? Hmm. What do you think? Regal and lethal. Yeah, I think so. She had to think about that one for a while. I did. I did November 24th. I know, I it's way to, back. I'm, I'm like Flash. I have to go back in time. <laughs> so, yeah. Bruce makes this show for me. Every week they deliver moments where some trait or action reveal the Batman within him. I think so, too. Although he gets a little whiny, like a little needy whiny sometimes, but you, I don't know, he's a kid, right? Maybe he's got to go through this stuff before they actually get him into the hardened Bruce, the, he's still Bruce the kid genuinely. There is no Batman persona yet. Right. So that's the interesting thing, right? Like Batman is the real person. Bruce becomes the persona, the mask, right? Batman's... The real deal. Right. Right now, he's still really Bruce. Bruce is not the mask yet. Right. Bruce is like a choir boy right now. Bru what? A choir boy? Where are you getting that? <laughs> well, he ha has he even gone through puberty yet. I mean, his voice. I, I mean, his voice Only is, not, is not lowered yet. <laughs> so, I mean, I think my voice is even lower than his. Really? So, Possibly. um Maybe I'm the Batman. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let's go up a little bit here. See what Veritas again. Bullock is great casting every week. We get to see him more evolved, interesting, and dynamic. My favorite character on the show, Harvey Bullock. Yes, King Horrock. King Horrock on uh, Vikings. Yeah, as well. he's a great actor. So um, good actor. Again, casting is fantastic. Yeah, I, I truly think that he is one of the best characters on the show. Um, the way they show him in flashbacks, too, kind of being very um, uh, good. Then he becomes corrupted. Now he's swinging back toward good again, thanks to the influence of Jim. We've talked about that a bunch on Spit Takes. I totally agree. Yeah, perfect. I think he's perfect for that You read role. these. Um, this, this is the one where Alfred like chases off the assassins, I think. With, oh yeah, with Alfred, a great opening to Gotham with Alfred kicking ass. It's got a, I, it's just a scratch. I, I got stuff to do. Yeah, he's, he's. Uh, what was he again? Um, later on, they revealed that he was like in kind of like some a, kind of the SEAL equivalent in right. the British military. Right. Which is actually in the British military is similar to what my grandfather did. You've mentioned that before. Yes. So it was he was kinda, like an ambassador and kinda cool. well, later, later he, he was a diplomat later, but he was actually they didn't even talk about the existence of his group until, I don't know, maybe the last decade or so. Plausible denial. Yes, yeah, so they were equivalent <laughs> of like the CIA slash SEALs. So That's very under cool. Her, under Her Majesty's service. Her Majesty's Secret Service? Was he a double O? HMS! Was he a double O? Um, no, he was not. <laughs> uh, but he, I think, was an officer and he was not only active in duty, but I think he was also intelligence. So, so Zen Engine anyway, also sorry. says, one, on thing I feared, one thing I feared about Number Gotham happened. Kid Batman plus child villain hijinks could get silly by season three. I think this is a reference to Ivy, right? Yes. Cap, Selena, maybe. 
But other, I, I liked it though. Um, you have to establish those characters and talk about their background. So I mean, they're just little kids. They're children. Yeah, some of them are. The ones that are his age are going to be kids, so they are children. But there are plenty of other villains that are not his age that are in right. the orbit of Gordon, right. the Riddler, right, 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 right the right. Penguin, right. Who else? So I, I definitely think himself. they they haven't taken it silly. Scarecrow, right, is older than Bruce, younger than Gordon. So kind of a He's a tweener. I was going to say, on he's, the show. he's the sweet spot on he, the show. Whoa, what do you mean sweet spot? You got a crush going for the young actor there? Are the Amel boys not enough for you, Ellen? You're insatiable. <laughs> insatiable. All right, what's going on here? Somebody posted, and I didn't even see this. Somebody posted a, I guess this guy is uh, going to be Nightwing or something? I didn't even see this. Look at this picture. Look at those pecs. I need some pecs like that. Damn. Yes, you do. Yeah. Oh, I bet I do. <laughs> um, all right. And here's me asking you about spit takes. Aaron Duncan says, watching IGN on YouTube, and Grant says that Barry comes face to face with the bad in the yellow suit in episode nine. Cool. Well, we did see that. That's for sure. And oh, my God. Last night's Flash, which we won't talk about right now. No. Crazy when it comes to the reverse Flash. But Harrison Wells, reverse Flash, all that's been getting... More and more blatant um, in terms of what's going on as the series goes on. Oh my god, I love this. This is the Ghost and Goblins guy, I think. Frank Zarjaz, awesome picture right there. Flash continues to impress visually. Second favorite ep this week after Captain Cold. Few names dropped for DC fans too. Yeah. I don't know which which one he's talking about though, unfortunately. November 27th. It goes too far back. We'll stay current on these going forward so we have a better sense of reference. Uh, is there going to be a spit takes tonight? Well, technically, yes, there was. We released um, Arrow, latest episode, Suicidal Tendencies. Um, okay, let's see. What do we got going here? I love how well he's doing as Alfred. He seems more like a father figure to Bruce. Totally. Yeah. And I love the fact that this guy is in the, the lineage of the Doctor Who lore. This is uh, Sean Pertwee's... Um, or John Pertwee's son. This might be Sean Pertwee, actually. Anyway, this is the Doctor. The third Doctor. This is his son. Pertwee Jr. Pertwee Jr. Little Pertwee! Little P. Little Doctor Who! Get back in the frame here, Ellen. Oh. Come on now. Am I okay. in? No, Am I yeah, in? now you're okay. fine. Now, okay. now you're crowding right. me. Right. Come right. on. Right. Sorry, Come sorry, on, sorry. girl. All right. Uh, Frank Zarge. Fun fact, in case you didn't know, Alfred is played by Sean Pertwee, son of the third Doctor Who... John Pertwee. Frank, we just covered that. Where you been? Come on now. That was so November 28th. <laughs> All right. Cross, great crossover episodes for Flash and Arrow. First appearance of Firestorm. Sadly, Cisco survived the trip to Starling City. Oh, is Frank a, is Zen Engine a, a Cisco hater? What's going on with that? Cisco's the bomb. Cisco's the bomb. Well, this was early on. I, you know, maybe Cisco grew on Frank. Like a Tuma. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, you know what's interesting? We talked in the, the last episode of um, Spit Takes about The Flash. You made that interesting... I'm sorry, I've had a couple of cocktails and been up really early in the morning. Uh, I'm yawning like crazy. No, um, no cocktails and no coffee is no fun. I know, right? I mean, cocktails, cocktails and, and no, no coffee. coffee. Um, so great crossover episode. He says, what were we talking about? Oh yeah. Remember you made that parallel about somebody found out Barry's identity last time it was, um, Iris. And then this time it was snart. Right. Yeah. Interestingly enough, I noticed that Cisco cries in the first, that first episode. Mm -hmm. Um, and when, just before Harrison Wells kills him and then he cries in the second episode too. Yep. When his brother was doing the thing, it was bad. Cisco's bad crying. things will still happen. I know, but Cisco's crying a lot. It's there was slightly parallel different. Of tears. Q, Q, Q. Delicious salty tears for for Zen Engine, since he doesn't like Cisco, he must have loved that. Um, let's see here. Fun fact: actor who plays Captain Boomerang on TV and the actor for Suicide Squad were both in in the excellent Spartacus. Um. I didn't know Captain Boomerang was, but I do know that the actor who is now playing uh, Marden for Weather Wizard 
was the guy who became the new Spartacus when the first guy died. Right. So that was kind of interesting, too. So they got a big Spartacus connection here. Can't believe we're getting a Preacher TV series. Raimi and Campbell are streaming for an Evil Dead show on Stars. Are we teaming? Did you say reaming? Yeah, they're reaming. Wow. Reaming. Johnny Boy, JJ Taz, other Johnny Boy Taz and Twitch. This was shown. Reverse Flash. Spit takes. Look at that. Reverse Flash. So badass. You know what I love? That sound effect they always do. Mm-hmm. The vibration thing. Because it sounds kind of like um, like they took uh, insect wings and distorted the sound. That's kind of cool. So I'm just I'm just. I love where Foley comes guys, from in yeah. Hollywood. It's neat stuff. You know what's interesting though? Like the cups? last episode that we just saw did some stuff. We'll talk about that on Spit Takes. But they did some neat, interesting things with the blur, even when there wasn't a blur. Um, yeah, this was some great shit right here. Wonder Woman show maybe. Spit takes. I don't know, but they got a Supergirl going show going on, Padam. That's exciting. Love the new costume. Have you seen the picture of the new costume? No, I have not. It's pretty cool. Let's see if we can find it right here. Supergirl TV show. Penny, you're not moving. You're bad. You're not moving. Supergirl TV show costume. I can't type. Learn to type. Or costume. Costume. Here it is looks good oh hey wait a minute i have seen it i'm sorry well what the heck then why you gotta make stuff you know what's funny she kind of looks like a young renee zellweger really yeah that's what she that's what it's she a good costume looks like which i often find the boots in hollywood are a little that, that weird. they generally will take people that look similar to other already known and established uh stars i'm worried about these boots because when she bends her knee they're gonna be these things aren't gonna bend too and they're just gonna be like big old flaps yeah, I'm thinking like um, she's not going to be doing that very often, I don't think, and unless she's gardening or something, Maybe and she not. needs a shovel or two. I'm very glad they <laughs> kept the skirt instead of going with pants, though. And you see the texture? I do. It's cool. Let's look at it closer. I can't. It's almost like a, a knit texture. A weave of some sort. Aaron Duncan says, Spittle, great show. Thank you. I'm not sure which one you're referring to necessarily. Arrow and Flash crossover was amazing. Oh, I know which one that was. Yeah, yeah. and I'm, I, they're going to be doing more crossovers. And Aaron so thinks that there's going to be, it would have been a tie between them. I don't know, man. I think we saw later on, though, that the Flash, if he was full on evil and wasn't pulling punches, would literally kick the crap out of the Arrow. Yeah, not to say that the Flash or Barry wouldn't get injured. Barry might get injured, but it was... But I think he like, would kick what, Arrow's ass. Yeah, Arrow, I, I don't think he has a chance. Especially Although, now. Arrow did kick the crap out of the Atom. Yeah, but that's just a suit, and it's some guy without any experience at all, and and Barry has been training. Yeah, there's, like, the only reason he beat the Atom is because he figured out where he could hit that power point. Yeah. Like, there is there is no power point on the Flash. No. Although, I, I guess Captain Cold was able to do some stuff with the, the cold ray. He was able to like put ice on the ground and neutralize his speed. I guess it's so very, there's ways. You could throw a pizza. Hey. A pizza, yeah. Pizza here's distraction. Some, here's a big belly double triple Whopper burger. Whatever that you gotta is. Gotta do what you gotta do. He'll eat it. I would like to see a cyborg show and also the question show. Michael Palmer, interesting comment. Oh, that's Jensu. Um, a cyborg show could be interesting. Cyborg appeared on... Um, he appeared on uh, what you call it, uh, Smallville for a little while. Or they kind of cheesed out on his outfit. Yeah, I don't didn't like that very much. I could see I that happening. That. I don't know about the question though. Although I would have doubted a Constantine show, and I love that. So maybe the question could be pretty good. Maybe it would be like the Night Stalker. Remember the Night Stalker? You love that show. I love the Night Stalker, and when they did the um, the remake of that, not so yes. great. No, it was pretty good. We yeah, liked it. it was just it got it was it nowadays in TV it seems there's this trend to just dive and dump right into the story immediately. So right. and if you don't if you're not capturing that audience these days immediately, even if you're good, you can't just be good. You got to be fantastic and great. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of getting out of screen again. I'm sorry. I'm very That's animated. Right. You don't want to share. You don't the give me enough painting. space. I, uh, I can't move over anymore. I'm I'm already off the edge right there. <laughs> um anyway all right uh, but i'm uh, sure Zatanna. there's gonna be a lot of spinoffs like i think they're gonna do some kind of like uh arrow flash combination spinoff show or something Shh. 
What? Oh, wait. Well, yes, there's like Ray Palmer, Common Fire knowledge. Show. I just don't want to go into what we saw last night nope. from the Flash. Not at all. Just all saying that. would all not right. be surprised. You wouldn't be surprised. It's happening. It's, it's happening. Well, they say things. All right, Zatanna, J, uh, Mora, Morahas, or Jason Morris, Morias. Zatanna and Cyborg would be great additions to CWDC superhero shows. I agree. Uh, Jip Can Condorp. They say that production on Constantine is being held off because of Guillermo del Toro's JLA Dark. Your thoughts? I did not hear about that. Neither did I. I did not hear about we'll have that. To take a look at that. Yeah, I hope that's not the, the case. This show, Constantine, deserves to go. And by the way, it's still alive. Is it? It's still alive. They have not canceled it yet. They haven't uh, done anything we're to supposed it to, yet. There's, uh, I, you know, I have in our calendar, I wrote down when they were supposed to make that decision by, and I think that's actually maybe this week. I think there's still there's hope. A, there's a date. Still if they hope. I hope. I hope that's not the case. I'd I'll like to see look. both shows move forward, Jip. Randall Prickett, Red Ring Light. I would love to love a JSA series. Why Jip? Why not Yip? Yip, Yip, Kondrop. Because you're Dorp. you're not Jens. You're Yens. I'm Yens. It's a soft J. Yip. Thank you for the comment. I would love a JSA series. I would love a YSA series. <laughs> Wells already dropped the names of three dead JSAers: Damage, Adam Smasher, and Amazing Man. I would not like to see a JSA series because I don't like the golden age old fogey comics. Bam! Drop the mic. What do you think about that? He's gonna hate me because look, he has a he has a Alan Scott Green Lantern. He's all about the golden age right there. I just lost a follower. <laughs> I cost us, Alan. I cost us. He's about the high waisted. I know. Yeah. Think, Very high waisted. My superhero shorts like start right here <laughs> <laughs> all right spittle who would win i think flash beat him but played coy about it made it close for arrow yeah i think i think flash would it was on the route to kicking the crap out of him as much as i love smallville we need a full-fledged superman show with a pace like flash not gonna happen license is tied up you're not gonna see batman and flash in those shows not gonna happen. Want to know how you feel about Nightwing on Arrow? Also, do you like the cast rumor for him? I don't know. I haven't heard anything about it. I think Nightwing on Arrow would be really cool, very very cool. Like the idea. Saw the saw the picture earlier of the casting choice. Seems fine. Um, Frank Zarjaz, brilliant episode of Flash this week. Finally, a live action version of Zoom, and he's vicious. Plus Tina McGee and Firestorm. Love Firestorm on that show. He's probably one of our favorite characters in that show. Yep. Will, will That will make me watch the spinoff. Yeah, I'll watch it too. It's, it's got an Amel in and it. And again, interesting. Like that Ravi Amel did The Tomorrow People. Oh, I heard it. <laughs> I heard it. It's got an Amel in it. you got to give me some dignity and allow me to ignore it when I hear it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, you're not. I love you. Honey. No, you're not. Thank you, but clearly not as much as the Amels. All right, listen. So Robbie Amell was on a show called The Tomorrow People. <laughs> so was this other actress. I forget her name. Robbie Amell goes fire go, does Firestorm on CW Flash, and then this other girl shows up as Golden Glider, um, Snart sister. So that was kind of cool. It's all somebody was also talking sister about Snart. like <laughs> the, how like you know this other actors did this and they're on here and you get the Spartacus connection and. All these casting agencies and these networks, they're all affiliated some ways, and they do have these connections. It's, it, that stuff just goes to show you how important networking is in Hollywood because they know each other and they get cast again and again if they're likable and good to work with. Um, when Cisco said there were two speedsters when Barry's mother died, maybe it was Flash from the future trying to stop it. Aaron Duncan, you are a prophet. Prophet. He nailed it. That's exactly what happened. Verse Flash and Detective Thawne, one in the same. No, not true, Veritas. A distant relative. I'm telling you, wait for it. Zoom, save Barry in the pilot. Save Barry? Mm, I don't think so. Well, actually, we learned uh, we learned something, and we're not going to talk about it right now, but that has proved to be false. Um, Rockfall, Jessica Constantine, is CW area. Have you seen Spit Takes? Oh, Rockfall. Wait, what is going on? What is this conversation? Just as long as you don't diss. Why do I have to hurt two great shows to help the third? God. Oh, you know what this was? This was People's Choice Awards. They put all these shows up. Gotham, CW, Flash, Constantine, oh, right. same category. I don't even know who won. And I had to choose Flash. Good. Flash Obvious. Won. That's yeah, good. They deserve yeah. it. 
It was hard. It was hard. All right. Um, Lesser is on hold. That is Constantine. Let's see here. Spit takes you stay on Twitch. I'm sorry, Aaron. We can't do it. It's, it doesn't work as well for us live. Thank you for the feedback, though. Um, let's see. I have not watched season two. I never caught back up with it. Never caught. Doesn't feel like I need to at this point either. These are all just a bunch of me showing. Uh, this is all spit takes stuff. Let's see. You're watching spit takes and LNG Anderson is talking about Amel and Spittle is just like, okay, that's enough. It's not funny anymore. Aaron gets it. <laughs> oh, come on. Steven. Don't touch me. Ah. Just kidding. I know your name. She called me Steven. <laughs> she called me Steven. We're not watching this show anymore. <laughs> Look what I wrote, too. Love this arrow. Can't wait to talk about it with LNG Anderson on Spit Takes. Not anymore. Let's see what Crystal Zorel had to say. I'm sorry to hear about Alan Spittle. Looking forward to seeing you both at Spit Takes. Oh, good. That was well wishes after the whole stuff went down at um, SOE. Now, daybreak. Um, let's see. What else we got? Anything else on here? I think this is all... Okay, Crystal says, I'm giving Gotham another chance on episode 11 now. I have issues with prequels, but I'm liking it so far. You better, girl. You better, because it's great, right? Yeah, it's a good Is show. Is it a chick show? I mean, it's no Grey's Anatomy, but... I think it appeal. It would appeals to a lot of people. How about Male, chicks? female, chicks even, dudes. What about the vaginally inclined? Are they... Well, depends. I should say who's, endowed. Who's, I'm, <laughs> I'm vaginally inclined. Uh, You're vaginally endowed. I was like, what does that mean? A lot of people could be vaginally inclined. I suppose so. Maybe people, there are people that just don't <laughs> like vagina. There are those people. I am not one of them. What if I like my vagina? Am I vaginally inclined? I don't know. You could be. So You could be. Spittle, the part of Spit takes at 1030. Fuck this ML family, man, taking off their shirts. I got to deal with man candy. <laughs> Aaron liked that part. Yeah, I can relate. Um, all right, we're just pimping Spit Takes hashtag here, asking people to participate so that we can do stuff like this. So when we ask you about uh, episodes, hashtag Spit Takes, and we will talk about that stuff. Bounty, DCO Red Eagle. Spittle, my favorite part of Gotham was when Fish scooped out her eye. Gross, but badass. <laughs> And you were you were awesome, like calling what was gonna happen with that too. You were so right. I thought they were gonna have an eye patch for the rest of it. Um, hey Spittle, I was, it says Aaron Duncan. Hey Spittle, I was thinking about I thinking I was thinking you should give your guess on what is gonna happen next episodes of Gotham Flash. Okay, we'll start. Maybe we'll do some predictions. We try and keep them so short, you know. We don't get into too much nerdy stuff. I guess I was excited about Murmur. You know what's funny? I said, oh my god, Murmur! Count on that being mentioned on the next Arrow Spit Takes. Guess what? Er we didn't Mur fucking mention it. Murmur. Er we did not mention it at all. Nope. We did that entire episode without even mentioning Murmur. That's right. You know what? You tell lies. I did. <laughs> I did not speak the Liar. truth. Liar! And you know what was the worst? Is that I remember once they did the Murmur thing, and at the end when Arrow fought the Murmur, like, I fought Murmur, he kind of botched it. The like, he was like terrible. I think Arrow has, like, the He-Man effect or the Holyfield <laughs> effect where he raises and lowers his game based on the level of the opponent he's fighting. So he always just makes it that close that he won. That's my theory. Can't hold it much longer. That's what He-Man would say. And it didn't matter if he was holding a boulder that was the size of a car or an entire castle. I can't hold it much longer. His strength had a limit. It was infinitely... Didn't matter what the weight was, but he could only hold it for 10 seconds. So is he like the Scotty? No, it's not Scotty. It's it's the He-Man effect. He-Man effect? Yes, the He-Man syndrome. I don't like the ending. That's supposed to be Batman. Oh, somebody's talking smack about the offer. Kind of don't blame him, right? That's the whole Bruce. Like, Bruce gets the offer from Raish, not mm -hmm. Ollie. But, you know, they're trying to make things work. Trying to go up with cool storylines. I still think he should take it. <laughs> I know. We know how you feel about that. I, I tend to agree with you. Seen this. New live action TV show set in the Arrow Flash universe. Announced. This is what you were talking about. Yes. And it's got Ray Palmer's The Atom. I didn't know Captain Cold was going to be on it. Um, but we know um, Black Canary. Um, we know 
who else? Uh, sorry. Um, what's his toast? Jeez. Firestorm is on it as well. What is this? What is this? Netflix original series Daredevil. What? I didn't even hear about that. Wow. Wait, 10th of April. Did we miss it? Wait, 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 wait. wait we Netflix. don't have Netflix. No, no Why we don't. don't we have Netflix anymore? We could be watching Daredevil. Woman? All right. Tonight's new episode of Gotham. Let's see here. Uh, Byron says, what fun with flags. Always wanted to be seriously enjoying this for the shows I watch. <laughs> fun with flags. They're making, Byron's making fun of us, Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> I showed you that clip of fun yes. with flags from, uh, what's it called? I don't know the name of the show. We don't watch it. Uh, Spittle at LNG Anderson. When you're on spit takes. I'm not sure what he's referring to. Let's see here. How did you feel about that? Uh, we got more. Okay, Aaron says, great episode. This is Red Hood. Love when Bruce was filling in to find Alfred's friend and Selena asked to help, but he said no. Oh, was willing to find Alfred's friend. Looks like Constantine's fate will be decided in May, as that's when season two will be pitched. Fingers crossed. I think they're into season two, as last I heard. Spoilers galore in this new Flash trailer featuring Hamill himself. All right, we'll talk about that next week. All right, we're getting into stuff we haven't talked about yet, so we're going to skip over now to YouTube. Let's look back at some of the comments that we have on some of these episodes here. I actually want to play. No ads. Get out of here, ads. Let's see here. Chesticles! Laugh out loud. I don't know how Bruce is being played, being shown like a crybaby too much, says Diosadabo Bacani. Cat girl doesn't like me. Boo hoo. Cat girl. <laughs> Not cat woman, cat girl. I like how he put down uh, Gordon or got back to, on the school bullies, but he reads too much like Annie Aiken. I agree Anakin. about the bats moment. Chesticles. You like the chesticles. And they're talking about. Uh, so I responded. Thanks for the comment. Interesting that you focus on Bruce's vulnerability. I talk about that in the most recent spit takes when he visits the board. Thanks to last night's episode. I'll speak about it again on the next show, too, which I actually did. I was not a liar, Ellen, on that one. Uh, let's see here. How about this recent one on Flash? Do we get any comments on here? No ads. Get out of here, ads. Oh, my God. We got a lot of comments. Vander and Alves. Nice. Yoville King. Bring DC Universe Online to Xbox. Okay, we'll try. Rebel Fall DCU. Oh, hey, Spittle. I know you probably don't want to work to be put in personal shows. You're right. Laugh out loud, it's Duncan in that look. I'm not bitter. Oh, yeah, that was uh, me talking about I'm not bitter about the wand getting cut from DC Well, The Flash, it's awesome. New episode will be excellent. Can't wait for it, says Jareth Wolf. Oh, another Dios... Dios da, how, do you, how do you say that? Dios Dado? Where are Bacani, you even? Right here. You're the son I never had. But to me, you're already Dios said Dado dead. Bacani. Dios Dado Bacani. I don't know. I'm hopefully I didn't butcher it. That was the best line on the episode, and I love that scene and the acting in it. I think the actor who plays Cisco did a tremendous job to make us believe it. Yeah, right. You felt the same way. Yep. With that in mind, I'm with Ellen. With too much time interference. <laughs> I know. If it gets played too much, then the gravity of scenes like Cisco and Wells' confrontation will have less and less impact. In fact. I think this is the only time that it will be viable to use time effect scenario to undo a beloved character's death. Good job again, folks. Always a pleasure watching your vid. Woohoo! Yay. Uh, the Glad. only thing, I think there are so many cool things about this episode that Yens had to backtrack twice to get it properly set up. Yes, you're right. Yeah, a bit scattered because I got so wrapped up in the one storyline. I'll let Ellen know that you agree with her on this take. He never told me. <laughs> never. I was saving it for this moment. It was a surprise. I think we should buckle up for more time travel, however. They set a goal for Barry to be at this his mother's death, so I think this is just the beginning. And yes, Carlos Valdez does a terrific job in that scene. Standing ovation while sitting down. Oh, one hand clap? You don't even give... Well, Rot, rats, rats, uh, eagle wants to know: Is she your wife or family to you? I said she is my wife and thereby family to me. <laughs> Ding -ding. Wonder Twin Powers activate! All right, uh, let's see. We did Flash out of time. Let's look at e episode uh, for Arrow: The Offer. Get out of your ads. 
All right. Um, the honor of the offer belongs only to Batman, truth seeker, a diehard traditionalist. In this, they make it seem like it's something he just gives to anyone. Oliver didn't even beat him. If he really wants to get rid of the honor, give it to Nyssa. She, she wants it. Um, what do you think about that? I'm lost. <laughs> okay, I'm at the bottom. Truth seeker. I'm Stop sorry. looking over here. Look over here. I am, but right, I started right at, the at the top. Look, don't start at the top. They okay. go in reverse order. All right. Now they go in reverse order. I just read it to you. I spoon fed it to you. I'm just out there today. I know. Let's die. I know. <laughs> He's going to beat me after this with a stick. I am. So Oliver didn't beat him, but uh, here, I'll fill in for you. Oliver didn't beat him, but the prophecy isn't about beating Raja, Raja, Raja Ghul. They call him Raz sometimes. They call him Raish sometimes. I never know what to say on that show. Um, but the uh, basically, it's not whether he beats him. It's he survived his sword. That's the prophecy. Prophecy. But you know my loophole. It wasn't his sword. It was the sword Ali chose. And I say, the, you know, let the lawyers take a look at this. Yep. Because he got assistance, so he really didn't survive the sword. No matter what sword it was. DCUO says, first. No, you were not. Truth Seeker was first. Um, I tried to mention, uh, make a Guardians of the Galaxy reference, and NCIS2495 correctly told me it's Drax. I thanked him for that. Um, Von Heliu666, the only thing you forgot to talk about or say was Shadow being alive again in Hong Kong. She's the lady with the white hair. Yep. Which, to be honest maybe i don't know how i feel about that because deathstroke putting oliver through so much pain is because the whole shadow death and if shadows shadows alive then i didn't see season two i don't know what you're talking about but here's my is, fault this is fun it is your fault also to point <laughs> out the actor of salad is amazing but how is how is he pre-trade in the show how is he is pre-trade portrayed per -trade, yeah. in the show to me is horrible all right, let's look at all the replies. Thanks for the comment. Good point about Shadow. We certainly don't go over the episodes with a fine tooth comb. It's more of a coffee break conversation, so we often miss stuff. I can't make out your last sentence. Can you clarify? He goes, thanks for the videos. What I meant to say is how Shadow is alive, and like, and he goes on about that again. I go, no, sorry, I meant the actor of Salad. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. He goes, wow, I just read my last message. I meant Slayed, not Salad. I kind of like Salad. Salad Wilson, Deathstroke. <laughs> Dressing stroke. <laughs> Salad Wilson. Yes. Dressing stroke. Hidden Valley. Hidden Valley. <laughs> okay. Hidden Valley Ranch. Mm -hmm. All right. That was the offer. Let's go through. Oh, spit takes. Well, look at that intro. Awesome. We're really pulling out all the stops there on that one. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Spit Takes. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see here. Uh, going from the bottom. Taiji Hegwood, DCO Smoke and Shadow Power. All right, whatever. I want to watch Flash Season 1, Episode 17. Where can I watch it without registering? Please help. I don't know. Pay for things you watch. Just don't pirate anything. The Mythic Nerds. I remember a while back when I talked about a big bad, and you said you liked the rogues coming back like a comic book. Remember how I talked about that? How, uh, like, somebody said they were so many people were kind of getting introduced it was too fast and I, I loved it that's what a comic book feels like you yep. know new issue new new bad guy usually this episode really did give me that feel it was ripped from the pages more so than any other episode i really like the creative way they make cold go to his not killing ways this is about uh you know kind of him learning barry's identity and everything by challenging his ego which is exactly what barry did you're you're so good at it you should be able to not kill anybody that is he points uh the mythic nerds points that out perfectly it is about his ego give me him pick him up give him to me bunsen come here honey come here i got him i don't know he i don't he doesn't he wants to come up here and be part of the show now penny's say gonna say hi to everybody bunsen say hello no, Penny wants up too. <laughs> okay, so um, Hi, I think Harrison Wells also asking Barry not to tell him anything is what made him made made him make the mistake, which allowed Barry to know he was evil by killing the reporter. For if he told Wells that a reporter said he was a killer, he would have been so forward since he realized Barry could connect things. Yep, Mythic Nerds is is got his finger on the pulse. Of what's going on? Original Dwayne fan. 
Great analysis. The only thing that was really not touched on was the end with the reverse flash. We totally forgot about that. The whole part where reverse flash kills I know. Well, the there's reporter. so much going on in these episodes. I know. And we really just try and keep these things 20 minutes. Yeah. You know, like really quick. We want you to be able to kind of watch them. There's plenty of shows out there that are going to do two hours of deep analysis on the Flash episode and all of the Easter eggs and their predictions about next week. We're just trying to have a conversation and let you kind of see us personally interacting with each other about what our thoughts were on the show. It's pretty casual. If that's your thing, tune in. That's what we do. Um, thanks again for... What are your thoughts on that portion of the episode? Thanks again for the awesome video. All right. Here's the biggest, my biggest thought on that that I didn't um, cover at the time. I thought the, when the, fla the reverse flash did the uppercuts like on the guy and knocked him across the room mm -hmm. that it felt like it was super strength, but it really wasn't. It was just super momentum. Right. Right. And it was just, it felt so awesome. Like it really felt awesome watching him do that. Like he, he was, he's powerful. Like he felt really powerful. You can understand why he humbles Barry right now. Oh, totally. I mean, he's just, he's just so much more experienced. Yeah. And Way more experienced. he will, he goes to that dark place, <laughs> and he's a killer. What do you think? Are you a killer? No, you're a lover. Where Barry, yeah, where yeah. Well, well, it's kind of like this when when Barry is faced with a problem, you know, the first thing he 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 doesn't have to deal with is that he he needs to kill somebody. He never thinks that way. Right. It's how to prevent, and so you have to be really imaginative. Um, whereas, um, you know, the Reverse Flash. AKA Harrison Wells. Um, he has no qualms with hurting someone or killing them. So he's definitely much more direct. Here's, Jared, here's what Jared Wolf said. All right, Spittle, just going to add something I noticed in that episode. The reverse flash, he ends up killing the reporter, Mr. Bridge, in the end of the episode. Now, how did he know about the Mr. Bridge had information on him that was doing the report how did he know is the question it was not revealed rogue time or not out of t or or out of time uh in rogue time or out of time the episode before rogue time i watched both to see if i missed anything i did not not only that the reverse flash said he was on the story of the century but then he says well the cent then century anyway before i'm destroying his pc you were on the story of the century those are two things I noticed. Okay, I'm, I can't quite make out some of what he's saying in the second half, but I feel like there was a reference earlier where the reporter was really grilling Dr. Wells at a press conference. Like, Dr. Wells might have been a little suspicious of him. Um, but, yeah, I don't remember. It is a good question how he knew. I, I, I'm having trouble believing there was a plot hole there because they're pretty tight about this stuff. So if you have the answer to Jareth Wolf's question, let us know at hashtag spit takes so we can get it answered. How did how did Harrison Wells, the reverse flash, Aobard Thawne, know that Bridge was investigating him and that he needed to go kill him? How did he know? Point it out for Jareth and us, because I can't remember right now. All right, I think this is the last episode we have to go over right now, and it was tonight's episode, Suicidal Tendencies. <laughs> Um, love the Arrow show is awesome, but last week's episode was too much like my mom's soap opera, says Von Helu 666 I did like that the Hive got teased again. Maybe or hopefully that's the villain group for the next season. I didn't notice that the Hive got teased. Neither did I. Oh, last week's episode. I did not see that's the one with all the of Adam last week's getting... episode. Oh, you... Remember? Oh, right. Yeah, I was actually really busy, and I kind of was dealing with the dogs. Oh, spit takes exposed. So... Ellen faked it. I was, I was multitasking. No, multitasking. I was. <laughs> Man can't do it. I was doing multiple things, and I was there for like the major story arcs with Adam. Um, but if there was a detail moment, I probably missed it. Yeah. So multitasking. All right. Well, that's all we got for the fabulous your takes for this week. We've caught up. We've Yay. caught up. Yeah. If you have something you want to add on one of the episodes that you've seen after you watch Gotham or Flash or Arrow or any of the shows that we kind of do on Spit Takes, feel free to leave your comments to us on Twitter at hashtag Spit Takes. If you watch an episode of Spit Takes on YouTube, leave your comments down in the comments section. Give us a like. 
We'll read them. We'll go over them. We'll talk about them here on Your Takes because you're part of this show too. An important part of this show is the community, and that's all based on you guys. So thanks so much for taking the time to actually comment to us on Twitter and writing some comments in the uh, YouTube sections. We really do appreciate it. We do, and thanks for keeping it fun. We saw some great comments up there. Yeah. And this is what it's about. It's about having fun and yeah. having fun with you guys. So. And it's celebrating these shows and all of our mutual enjoyment of them. So thanks again for commenting. We'll see you next time on Your Takes. Later.